Hi, I'm Dr. Bridget Behe, and welcome to Flowers in the Classroom. Today we're going to learn about importing and exporting fresh cut flowers and interpreting graphs from USDA data. Have you ever looked at the fresh cut flowers that come in a bouquet? If you've talked with the florist when you're making that purchase, you'll know that most of the flowers are not grown in the United States. Well, there are three terms that we can better understand looking at how those fresh cut flowers came to our market. Imports, exports, and domestically produced goods. Imports are goods that are grown in another country and brought into the United States for marketing and sales. Exports are goods that are grown here in our country for sale in other country, while domestically produced goods are products that are produced here for consumption here. Well, we can look online to find more specific information about imports and exports of fresh cut flowers. And we can understand how our floral supply comes from two different sources imported cut flowers, and domestically produced cut flowers. The pie chart shows us the percentage of flowers that come from imported sources and domestic sources. You'll want to look on the right-hand side of the graph to see the legend showing imported and domestic cut flowers. And you'll notice that the majority of flowers are imported versus the minority which are produced here for sale in our market. The second chart shows us the percentage of cut flowers that come from different countries. Again, notice the legend is on the right-hand side of the graph, and you'll notice that Colombia exports the most cut flowers to our country, indicated by 59% of the flowers being imported into the United States. Mexico, on the other hand, exports only about 3% of our cut flowers, shown as 3% of our imported cut flowers. The third chart is actually a table that shows us the percentage of cut flowers that come from different states in the United States. These would represent domestic production. So from these charts and graphs, we can take USDA data and interpret those using fresh cut flowers and their distribution from all over the world. For this and other lessons, visit flowersintheclassroom.com.